Hey you guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. I'm excited for a bunch of reasons. It is almost Christmas. As of Monday, all of my boys will be home from college for the holiday, yay! And today, I am doing an unboxing of my present from my friend, Karen B. Make sure you go check out her channel. I will also put the link to her unboxing my gift in the description box below, and I'll try to remember to put a link up here to that so it's super easy for you to go over there and watch it. Make sure you catch up on all her other videos as well. She's doing Vlogmas, and you know, I, uh, as we know, me and Vlogmas, not so much, but I have all the admiration in the world for Karen. She is vlogging every day for the month of December. But this gift came yesterday. I was dying to open it, but I knew I didn't have time to film and I wanted to make sure I opened it with you guys. Now, here's kind of, originally when we started doing it last year, and I'll put a link to last year's video in the description box if you wanna look at that, but we were supposed to send like holiday traditions from where we live. It turns out that was more challenging for me than I thought it would be because most of the US holiday traditions were stolen from the UK. <laughs> So, it, you know, we have like the Coca-Cola Santa and things like that, but it, it was a little bit tricky. So now I think we've just basically boiled it down to buying stuff that we love from where we live as, as opposed to like necessarily country traditions, but we'll see. She usually does a better job than I do, but I would say it's easier for her because so many of the traditions originated in England. So I'm just saying, or Germany, but you know, not in the US. All right, so here is my box now. I literally haven't even opened, like all the custom stuff is on the front. I'm not gonna look at the custom stuff because we have to put on there like exactly what's in the package. By the way, if you've never mailed anything overseas, that is a, a chore in and of itself. Like it is between the that and everything else, you really have to be careful. Okay, so the very first thing I am seeing when I open this, is a Herod's top of a box. <laughs> and that is cracking me up because she knows how much I adore Herod's. And Herod's at Christmas time is just the most magical place in the world. So thank you for that, Karen. And then there is a lovely card and I'm gonna read what she wrote in the card. It says, let it snow. To Jen, wishing you and your family the most magical Christmas. I hope you like your package this year. A few familiar items and a few new. The extra special gift is because I love you and you never let me pay for dinner. <laughs> Lots of love, Karen and family and Buzz. You know, and I was thinking about Buzz. Uh, next year, I'm gonna make sure I send a gift just for Buzz. I didn't do that this year and I feel bad about that. And it's true, I don't ever let her pay for dinner. Karen and I have had dinner together now in Paris and in Orlando and in London twice. So anyway, it's always nice to have a friend that travels almost as much as I do. Actually, I think she travels more than I do. All right, so the first thing in the box is this beautiful garland. I have no doubt that this is from Primark because it just has to be from Primark. And of course you guys know what I'm gonna do with this. Karen knew I would do this. So it is red garland and it has Mickey's all over it and clearly is meant to be worn as a boa. <laughs> How did I know? This was so perfect that I wore a basic black so that I could accessorize. So this is darling. And this actually, when I'm done filming, this will go right here because how cute is that? But we shall just wear it. We shall wear it like this. Here, well, maybe we'll go like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. All right, then the next thing I'm seeing, okay, this is hysterical. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I am slightly obsessed with Yorkshire tea. And the, the tea we get here in the US is swill. It is not good. So Karen has sent me Yorkshire Gold blend of three leaf origins from the top, 10 tea gardens in the world, 80 tea bags, Oh my gosh, this is uh, Taylor's of Harrogate. Harrogate, am I saying that right? Yorkshire Gold. This, you guys have no idea. Like for an American who loves tea and finds the tea in America to be as horrible as I do, 
She could not have sent me something that I love more than this box of tea. And uh, this will be keeping me nice and cozy warm here in this rather cold Atlanta winter for us. Like it's been a little bit crazy. So I am in desperate need of this. So thank you for my Yorkshire gold tea. Ah, oh my gosh. Mwah. Can a girl have too much fantastic tea? I think not, and I have never had that. The only Yorkshire I've ever had is their regular blend, and uh, ah, okay, I wanna go make some right now, but I shall restrain. Okay, this next thing, I kinda had a feeling because I think she got the same pair, um, but these pajamas, these are so stinking cute. They have Winnie the Pooh on them. Now, last year she sent me Lady and the Tramp pajamas, and I still wear them all the time. These have Pooh and Friends. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and break that so I can show you guys. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I love Winnie the Pooh so much. And this says Lazy Days and it has, look at the little tag, you guys. Oh my gosh, of course from Primark. Uh, Lazy Days, it has Pooh and Piglet and Tigger and Eeyore and they're like blingy and sparkly. So how cute is that? <laughs> And then the bottoms have all this bling on them. So you guys know we're leaving for uh, Disney January 5th. So these are going to be perfect. But look at, look at Pooh. And he's sleeping with his honey pot and he's showing his little belly. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, that makes me beyond happy. And these are so stinking cute. Oh, those are going to Disney with me for sure. Okay, now we have some little wrapped gifts. And of course we have Buzz and Jesse and all of the gang on here. That is so stinking cute. Okay, we're gonna open this up. I don't know why I held that up for you. <laughs> Four microfiber cloths. Again, I have no doubt these are from Primark. Yes, of course they are. <laughs> Primark, you. And these are so nice. So I will actually, you know, sometimes people give you like decorative towels and you're like, I, they're cute, but how am I gonna use them? But these microfiber cloths are like really useful and adorable. You guys know the trick with microfiber, uh, make sure you never use a dryer sheet with them. Just FYI. Um, but look how awesome. We've got Mickey and Minnie going for a little skate and it says Noel. And then this one, oh my gosh, these are so cute has little Mickey, gold Mickey heads on it, and like a tartan plaid, which is nice. And this one, okay, I've been obsessed with this like Mickey in a red truck and a green Christmas tree. I've seen this a couple different places this year. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Here they are sledding our friends out for a sled. These are just lovely microfiber cloths. So I am definitely going to use those. Thank you, Karen. Kind of feels like a wedding shower or a baby shower where people just watch you open gifts. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then next we have, these are tea towels. Oh my gosh. So these are Disney tea towels that say London on them. Ah, oh, this makes me so happy. Okay, let me show you how cute. These are gonna go immediately on my oven. I can't put tea towels like down low because Walter um, likes to chew on them for some reason, but these can go on my upper oven and they will be adorable. Okay, check it, you guys. Look at that. That is, we've got, how much more London can you be than this? You've got Mickey and Minnie. Minnie is wearing a little blue hat or a little blue fascinator, as it were. Her umbrella, it's raining, of course, cause London and a little red phone booth, which we know is just iconic London. And it says London on it. And it's got this little cute piping at the bottom. So cute. And then the other one says, when it's raining, it's pouring. And it's got Minnie Mouse. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It says time for tea on it. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Sorry, would you like to see it or would you like me to just look at it? I'm such a good vlogger. Look at all of the London stuff that is on here. We have Tower Bridge. This is not the London Bridge, Americans. We have Tower Bridge. We have a cup of tea. We have the Clock Tower. We have um, St. Paul's Cathedral. 
We have a little crown for the queen. We have a little cab. Oh my gosh, we have a little double-decker bus on there. There's a little Bobby's hat. Oh, I love it. England swings like the pendulum do. Sorry, Bobby's riding bicycles two by two. Westminster Abbey, the town of Big Ben. Sorry, I, that song, does anyone know that song? My mother used to sing that song. Okay, next up we have, this is a Christmas gift cake, mini typed iced holly leaf. Now my guess is that this is a um, English thing, this Christmas gift cake, because I've never even heard of this. And I will definitely, she knows I'm a vegetarian. Last year's whole thing was the whole mincemeat pie has no meat in it, which was started this whole long conversation and cracked me up. But I'm, I'm sure this is vegetarian and I will, it looks like a fruit cake, really. But look, it has this really cute little leaf on the top. So I cannot wait to try that with a cup of my Yorkshire Gold Tea. Thank you very much. Yorkshire Gold Tea for the discriminating tea drinker that lives in America. <laughs> and then next up we have fruited caramel brandy pudding. Now last year's pudding that she sent me from Harrods was amazing. This is probably the same way. Oh, and it does even have a V for vegetarian on it. Um, and this is from Waitrose. You know what? I wonder if this one was from Waitrose as well. No, this, this one was from Aldi. This one is from Waitrose. She went to Waitrose in one of her uh, recent Vlogmas episodes and I, I need to go to Waitrose. I really do because that store looked amazing and I have no doubt, look how yummy that looks. Fruited caramel brandy pudding with a brandy caramel sauce center. And of course, center is spelled the British way, C-E-N-T-R-E. -E. Okay, it says serves for, I don't think so. I think that will be just for me. <laughs> All right, then of course we have some Cadbury milk chocolate and she knows I love Cadbury and um, she, I also learned from her that British people think that um, Hershey's chocolate tastes like poo. So that, that's what I learned. That's what I, this is why one has international friends to learn these kinds of things. So she has introduced me to the beautiful world of better chocolate, which is good. Karen, you went overboard. Oh my gosh, okay. This is apple and vanilla spice scented candle. Mm. Okay, hold please. Okay, I am so sad that you guys cannot smell this because it is amazing, Bill. Like I'm gonna leave it open and like put it right here and I will light that at my earliest opportunity because that smell is unbelievably good. Well done you, Karen. Oh, and again, I have my mince pies, which have no meat. <laughs> Karen knows how much I love great food gifts. I might actually share them this year. Last year, I think I ate all of them on my own, but I will share them this year with my boys. Okay, that was from my thumbnail shot. <laughs> I, I can't get over how spoiled I am feeling right now. Oh, my word. Okay. These are M&S Food, again, all butter mini shortbread trees, which, you know what? Let's just have one of those now, shall we? That looks way good. Oh, look how cute they are, you guys. Okay, taste test. I really need some tea with this. Okay, yeah. Nobody knows how to do shortbread like the English. Mmm, can we guys... Can you hear that crunch? Oh my gosh, no one else is getting these. Those are mine. And then I have hot chocolate drink, a little piece of hot chocolate happiness, Butler's hot chocolate drink. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. So it says pour a teacup full of full cream milk into a saucepan and then you add a butler's hot chocolate cup, warm over medium heat, uh, stirring all the time and allow the hot chocolate cup to melt. When the chocolate has melted and is thoroughly mixed with the milk, pour into a cup and enjoy. These look amazing. And there's 10 servings. So I think we may do these on Christmas Eve because I mean, how rich and delicious when you're talking, that's gonna be. Now I wonder when it says Full cream milk, does that just mean whole milk? Someone British or Karen, let me know. 
because you know we have cream and then we have full fat milk like as opposed to skim or low fat so somebody english help me out on that that looks amazing okay what's funny is we both did a ton of food this year oh these are cute okay these are um, who do we have? Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy. And these are photo hanging clips. So you know what? These will work great in my backdrop down here. Oh my gosh, these are cute. So you can just clip your photos on there and then you could put them on whatever you, oh, there's rope. Okay, so what I can do is put these on um, a rope and hang them like a garland with pictures on it. That is darling. That looks like it was, again, from Primark. Yes, I gotta get to Primark next time I'm in London, which I hope is gonna be very soon because I haven't been to London in a few months and you guys know how I get. And another little Cadbury milk chocolate in there, yum. And then these are 16 milk chocolate tea cakes and these are from M&S and they are soft marshmallow on a crumbly cocoa base. I have never seen those before. Okay, those look really, really yummy. Okay. I'm gonna make myself sick if I, but you know, you have to taste test things. Okay, these are so cool, because look how pretty they are. All right, let's open these puppies up. Nice presentation. Okay, you ready? Ah! Oh, shut up. Oh my God, those are good. I hope you got some of these, Karen. Look at that, you guys. Mmm. Oh, okay. That's amazing. You know what I learned about, like, Giada and people like that on Food Network? They taste the food and they spit it out. What a waste. I don't do that. Here on Jen the Forge, we eat all of our own food. <laughs> okay. And then next we have the sweetest socks I've ever seen. These uh, thumper socks. Look at the little ears on the, look at the ears on the thumper socks. I can't even. I'm opening those right now. Like the ears are in the very top. And they're super soft and cozy. Oh my gosh. Yes, again, with the freezing cold Atlanta winter, I will be wearing these. And these are cozy shoe liners. So these actually would work under my boots and things like that. And I love, they have the little tassels on the end and they have a little bit of sparkle to them. There is a pink and gray and then a gray pair. Oh my gosh, so sweet. All right, now this, um, oh, these are perfect. Okay, so she gave me a set of earrings last year. These are uh, one of the pairs that came with them. I have loved them because there was like six different pairs. And this time I got another little earring card. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, so it looks like we have um, just some little studs. Then we have little Christmas moons, then some little red studs. Then we have... Okay, I can't tell what that is. Is it a bird? It's a little Christmas bird, maybe? And then some snowmen, some Christmas trees, some little, oh, some little like Santa hats. Is that what that is? Yeah, some Santa, like a, like a little sleeping cap, some Christmas wreaths, and some little Santas. Those are darling. And then this last gift is the one she must have been talking about that was because I never let her pay for dinner because she spent way too much money. And, and you should not have done this, this thing that I'm looking at. I'm gonna cry. Okay, so when I was in London, I saw this bag, Inherits. And if you go back and watch my London vlogs, um, I think it was the last time I was there, I actually go and look at the tote version of this and I'm very sad in the video that I did not buy it because this is something that is not available. I came home, I looked it up online, and it was with the vat, there, I just could not justify it. <sighs> she has given me the Herod's Winnie the Pooh bag. People are too good to me, that's what I have to say. I can't, y'all. So you've got, look at what you've got on here. You've got St. Paul's, you've got Harrods, you've got Tower Bridge, you've got Buckingham Palace, or no, I guess that's Westminster. 
Oh my gosh, I am going to cry. And then it opens up and I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell, this color is like not really red. This is why I loved it when I saw it in the store. It's like somewhere in between red and pink. It's like a soft red and it's just open inside. It's got a little zipper. It's got a snap. And then this is long enough that it can either be crossbody or it could be a shoulder bag. I mean, look at this. Just look at this bag. I'm gonna cry. Winnie the Pooh in front of Harrods is, is maybe my favorite thing in the entire world. Yeah, this is, uh, this is too much. You spent way too much money. The Winnie the Pooh collection exclusively for Harrods. You spent way too much money. And I love you, but don't you ever do this again or I'm gonna be mad at you. You have other things to spend your money on than me. Oh my gosh, I sound so much like my mother. I probably sound like your mother. But Karen, I love you. I so appreciate your generosity. I feel like I got a huge hug that came to me all the way from London. And I say this all the time, but for people who think that the internet is not a place for real friends, um, Karen has become my real friend. I consider her like a little sister, although I think I'm actually maybe old enough to be her mother, but let's not go into that. <laughs> um, these, these gifts just mean the world to me. And it's not that they're all great gifts because they are, but it's the thought that I know that she put into picking out things that she knew I would enjoy. And I think that's true for all of us. Don't stress out over getting the perfect gift because if you care about the person you're buying for, they're going to be able to tell and it's gonna come across. I loved everything that I got. And as they say in the UK, happy Christmas. I'll see you next time. Be good to each other. Bye-bye.